Day 21 of getting ready for Algebra 2. In this one, we're gonna go ahead and graph this linear inequality. Unfortunately though, it's not solved for y, so that's typically the first step we always want to do. Now, when we're thinking about solving for y with an inequality, we want to think equations, but just remember, whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to go and flip the inequality sign. So the first thing I'll do is subtract a 3x on both sides. That's gonna give me a negative y is less than or equal to. Let's write the 3x in front of this negative 3. So therefore, it'll be like that, because remember, it's a negative 3x and a negative 3, so make sure you keep the signs consistent. Now, let's go ahead and get the y all by itself by getting rid of multiplying by negative 1. So I'll divide by this negative on both sides, but that's going to now flip my sign to give me a y is greater than or equal to a 3x plus 3. Now, to go ahead and graph this, we want to think about it just like we did with a linear equation. 3 represents our y-intercept, so I'm going to put a nice little dot here. And then 3, or we can read it as 3 over 1, represents the slope, the change in the y over the change in the x. So if to find my next point, I can simply say, well, positive 3 means a positive change in the y, so I can go up 3 units. And 1 means a change in the value in my x values, so therefore that's going to be over 1. So up 3 over 1. You could also do a negative over a negative, right? Because negative over negative is also positive. So you could go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then to the left one. Now I'm going to go ahead and graph the line. But remember, we have to make sure, is this line going to be included or not included? If it was less than or greater than, it would be a dashed line. That means that any values on that line are not going to be included. In this case, though, we have greater than or equal to. So therefore, since it is equal to, we're going to have a nice little solid line. The last thing we need to do is be able to test where all the values that make this inequality true, are those going to be above the line or are they going to be below the line, right? We know they can be on the line because that is equal to. So the easiest thing to do is go ahead and create a test point, 0, 0. If 0, 0 is false, then we know that all the values above the line are going to be true. If 0, 0 is true, then we know all the other values below this line are also going to be true. So simply just plug in a 0 in for the y and a zero in for the x. If that makes the inequality true, then we know that that point is true, all other points are going to be true. So zero is greater than or equal to three. That, ladies and gentlemen, is false. So therefore, we know all the values above the line must be true. Now it's on to day 22.